So in the sermon out of Exodus chapter 25, I started by noting how important our environment is. This Winston Churchill line sort of shapes all this. First we design our buildings, then they design us, right? First we shape our environments, and those environments shape us. And we went here because there's this huge section in the Pentateuch. I mean, this is like, <laughs> this is the biggest topic. If you just look at ink spilled on, on, on the first five books of the Bible, nothing is bigger than the design of the tabernacle. So, of course, the biggest thing about the tabernacle is, is God is coming to dwell in the middle of the camp with all that that implies. And so I started where the text starts, looking at the, the heart of the tabernacle, which inside the Holy of Holies is the Ark of the Covenant. And this is where the Ten Commandments uh, are. And of course, it's, it is uh, covered by the, by the mercy seat or by the atonement cover, which is then sort of is between uh, God and us. And this is the place where the high priest would go once a year and sprinkle blood all over it to atone for our sins. And I said, look, we've got to see this. We've got to see how important our spaces are. And we need to see that Jesus is the true temple. And that, in fact, when we come to Jesus, we become the temple. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. So, lots of symbolism in this chapter. Big idea for you to be thinking about, talking about, is how am I shaping my environments? Who or what is shaping me? And, and how am I thinking proactively about that? Have a great study.